Hello, it's a glorious Tuesday the 4th. I'm FX Point Lou and, um, and this is the Market Brief. So Deutsche Bank has been on. Uh, in a note to investors, they covered the benefit of that unexpected 0.1% growth in Q4 last year, where ONS data confirmed the final GDP figure was 4.1% for 2022. That was up from 4% previously, and Deutsche Bank believes that that positive carryover of that 0.1% difference improves the chance that the UK will avoid a recession this year. That is about where the good news ends, though. Uh, They predict the economy will stagnate and full-year GDP will be 0%. But hey-ho, there you go. At least it's not a recession, right? Uh, The Bank of England, meanwhile, is still considering its next move. Headline inflation may have dropped a little, but core inflation remains uncomfortably high. Um, And where interest rates are now uh, restrictive, in restrictive territory, any adjustments in monetary policy may well need a more delicate touch going forwards. Um, Over in the US, debate continues over the over the growth trajectory and whether the economy can avoid a recession this year. Uh, The Fed isn't really helping much at the moment. Uh, Confidence in their future plans was was dented a bit as they dealt with the liquidity crisis. Uh, But as that turmoil is beginning to recede, uh, current expectation is leaning towards a vote of one final 25 basis point rate hike before a pause in the rate tightening cycle. OPEC may drop a fly in that ointment, though, where they agreed to cut production by a million barrels a day, assuming, of course, they all stick to the agreement and don't cheat like usual. That may see oil prices start to rise again, and that leads directly and almost immediately into the headline inflation number. So no doubt the Fed will be watching oil prices pretty closely now and and a rise of more than a couple of dollars uh, may complicate their rate hike decisions. Um, In the market, the dollar index fell to 102 when US PMI data fell short of the mark. Uh, Sterling rose on the back of that, topping out around 124.25 against the dollar yesterday. That is therefore getting closer to resistance at 124.50, but the chartists tell me things will need to build a little bit more momentum if they're going to break that level anytime soon. We opened this morning around 124.05 against the dollar, about 113.90 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108.90 this morning. So enjoy the sun while it's here. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.